business interoperability, the strength we possess as a country. My journey to at least two states in each geopolitical, geopolitical zone of Nigeria, a simple answer keeps ringing a bell in my head. Have we really explored our comparative economic advantages in our diversity? Yes, you heard me loud and clear. We do have strength as a country. We are yet to fully harness, which is business interoperability. The goal of a sustainable, successful country can be achieved if, firstly, the social needs are catered for, which are the food, clothing, and shelter. According to mass law, the primary needs identified fall into five groups psychological, which is breathing, food, water, sex, sleep, homeostasis, excretion. Then the second one, safety. We talk about security in terms of body, employment, resources, morality, the family, health, and property. Look into the thought, which is love and belonging. We talk about friendship, family, sexual intimacy. We talk about the fourth one, esteem. Self-esteem, confidence, achievement, respect of and by others. Then we look into the fifth one, self-actualization. We talk about the morality, creativity, spontaneity, problem, problem solving, lack of prejudice, acceptance of facts. This informs the basis of people's need and what we can offer as a country. So we talk about food, which is basic. It is a known fact that food is essential to life. Nigeria as a country has what it takes to feed our citizens without importing from other countries. What we lack is proper handshake, though it comes with its own challenges. Clothing. We produce raw materials and only concentrate on exporting them. We need to start improving on the indigenous fabric production plants, invest more in improved fabric designs or designers at a reasonable rate. Then we explore technology. We need to take advantage of technology innovations in payments and communication to bridge the gap between producers and consumers. One important thing to look out for is costs. One of the greatest challenge doing business in Nigeria is cost. There is need to understand the strengths of the target market, what is obtainable, what you can offer, and how avoidable the solution is. It's the right time we think as a communist and relax on thinking as a capitalist. We may define opinions, but I'm a strong advocate of communism system of business and government, as all parties will always be in a win-win situation, growth is faster while everyone protests their investment. Well, I was just thinking about something. You were talking about communism. But I feel, how about economic and social justice? Um, can the government please provide enabling environment? The only way to grow the economy is by engaging the citizens, those that are business-minded. Everyone should come together and do something. Consolidate relevant partnership both locally and globally, for local benefits. So it both lies on the table of government. No matter how enterprising an individual is, we're still subjected to the policies or the system put in place. Uh, if the system is not encouraging, doing business here is frustrating. I mean, we, we've just highlighted earlier on that uh, our leaders in, in, in government don't respect women or don't think highly of women. To me, that's 50% of the workforce um, who are going to be demoralized. Sure. We also highlight um, through Tolu um, 
the effect of um, security. security, which you touch based on. Another yeah. problem. If you look, if you if you look <laughs> at those uh, those two topics that we've touched on today, we're bugged. We're in trouble because these are two crucial elements that we need to to thrive as a country. And all government, I, I differ from you a bit that capital, capitalism can work if the government was neutral and provide a, a fair playing ground, like you mentioned. Fair playing ground means they, the they should be the judge and give everybody equal rights. No oligarch monopoly. Yes, what you mean. they should cut down on monopoly like uh, American did with uh, uh, J.D. Rockefeller back in the days and stuff. You understand? And provide an enable, enable environment where everybody follows the rules and regulation. If you do, if you do something wrong, you, um, you're punished for it. If you do something right, you're glorified. If those little elements are not there, like we've mentioned, if women are not given the dues, like you've mentioned, and security is not there, there like Tolu has mentioned, we, we, we are not going to reach our full potential. And that starts from the leader. That starts from, from our people. And from what we've, what, from what we've seen and what, we, what we've read, we're in, t we're in serious trouble because our Senate and our House of Rep think 50% of the workplace are useless. <laughs> Women. <laughs> uh, it's true. It's true. That's the truth. Yeah. You have made a very valid point. You have made a very valid point because another thing again, although that would lead you into your own conversation, the idea of we, you know, respect working together. Let's see the uniqueness of every aspect of this country. There is something, or there is a kind of business or a kind of way of mannerism of doing uh, business or a way of livelihood that is pertinent or that is uh, relating to certain cultures in this country. How can we harness that for our own collective economic roots? No, we are having a yes. Yeah, so, so I, I have to come in a little bit there. So, when when I say business of communism, let's say for example, Lucky Toll Gate. Let's say uh, the shares were open up to individuals to say we want to do this toll gate, we want to construct this road, but for us to recoup the cost of this road, we have to do a toll, right? And it is open for every individuals to come and contribute. Now, one thing it does is. Everybody feels for every toll fee that is being generated, have, have an, I have a, a return, a share. I have a share. Now, for people saying, don't pour water on the road because it spoils the road, they know immediately that road spoils. It's affecting, it's affecting my share. Automatically, I will protect my investment. You're right. So it's not just about uh, some salary people who we can say cabals set up the business and say either it is a, a profit or loss, they make, they make their gains. I'm the one paying or I'm not the one paying, they make their gains. So looking at it from that perspective, you see everybody wants to protect its investment by the time you allow people to participate in the business itself. Now, looking at it from another perspective is where you see uh, iron skin. Take for example, you see iron skin being produced majorly from the north, from Zaria, from Kanu, and it's been exported out of the country, right? And you see the same hide and skin being needed in Aba to produce bag and, uh, and, and shoes. But these Aba people are not having a proper handshake because of the bias that we have, tribal, tribal sentiment, sentiment, religion sentiment, and you see them being importing same raw materials that we produce in Nigeria, importing from another country and sell to produce their own goods to sell to the country. Then you take advantage of the, uh, the kind of an handshake we have in recent time to say um, lake rice. Lagos State doesn't have land for farming, enough land for farming. But they see opportunity in KB State. And KB, okay, I'll finance this plant, I buy off. It's an handshake. You understand? It's all about government, if, just like you said. If the government are ready, we can actually have the handshake and we can actually secure ourselves. Because that is not how the lake rise we're talking about beyond just the money and the land. There is value chain, there is logistics there, there is branding, there is OCs and stuff like that. So there are a lot of businesses. That's patriotism. That, exactly. There's a lot, and you have it, there is no cost of uh, landing. 
there is no cost of saying you are importing and you have to pay for clearance, you have to pay for cargo and all those kind no, of things. They so overcharge and make it ridiculous. Do, for the do you understand? So we have to value our own. We have to value our exactly. own. Exactly. We have all these things. Nigeria is a great country. We just need to value our own, looking what government should make create enabling environments. Up next is Abdul. Stay with us after the break. <laughs>